back to another lesson in Swift for Beginners. In today's video, we will be talking about loops. And this lesson will be fairly shorter as it's not as of an exciting topic, but nevertheless, very important. So we're actually picking up exactly where we left off in the last lesson, talking about classes and structs. So let's get started by removing all this. So let's call this loops. So what the heck is a loop? So a loop as it kind of uh, is, is signified by the name of loop is the task of going over a, a particular operation multiple times um, and you're kind of going in loops, right? And you're doing something over and over. And that what that actually means is, let's say you have a collection of numbers. Let's say you grouped a bunch of numbers together. Let's say one, two, three, four, and five. And what you want to do is for each of those numbers, you want to multiply it by two, right? So what, in, in theory, you could just pull out every single number and be like, okay, this times two and this times two. But what happens if you have a collection of two million numbers? You're going to have as many lines of code as, as, many line, as many numbers as you have. So for that, we use loops. And there's a couple different types of loops, and I want to go over... Uh, two particular loops in this uh, lesson that are very common and the first one is for in and the other one is a while loop So we're gonna stick with our example of having a collection of multiple numbers and we're gonna use an array for this and uh, If you don't know what an array is, it's totally fine We're gonna be covering it in a later lesson, but I want you to focus on loops for this uh, lesson's sake So we're gonna create a collection and we're gonna say we're gonna call it numbers and it's gonna have one comma two comma three comma four five let's let's leave it there so we have this thing and it has these numbers in it so now um, what we haven't used thus far is a print statement so whenever you pr do a print let's say we do a print of test down here in your this is called your console you'll get whatever you print out and it's super important and helpful to like test out when you're actually developing an app and also just for the sake of um, seeing in like a playground and learning as what we're doing here so we're going to be using this print statement so i just wanted to kind of introduce the concept of printing so let's start off with a for in loop so what a for in loop does is it says for nth element in your loop do something so what that means is in our numbers situation for each of the things in here for that thing for that iteration of the loop do something and it'll go over every element in the collection so what does it actually look like for thing in numbers do something so what this is saying is every time this loop runs um, it'll the value at that nth position so in this case 0 1 2 3 4 5 because collections are enumerated from 0 upwards we're gonna first get 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 for the values and that value every time this loop runs that value is basically the value that's inside thing and where did I get this thing from in a for in you can name this whatever you want this is your variable so the first time this loop runs, it's a one, the next time the thing is a two, then a three, so on and so forth. So what we want to do in here is we want to multiply whatever a thing is, which is a number, by two and print it out. So we're going to say let um, result equal thing times two, and we're going to print out result. So if we look down here, we basically now via these few lines of code, we're able to loop over every single thing inside of this collection of numbers, multiply it by two for each of the numbers and print it out. So this loop ran a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six times. So that's a notion, notion of a for in loop, for thing in collection. So now what is a while loop? So a while loop is a little different but kind of similar at the same time so we're gonna stick with this numbers collection up here a while loop uh, has the notion of do something while this condition is met right so uh, in, in layman's terms let's say while the Sun is still out be productive 
you know, we sh- like we should all be productive when the sun is out. But in theory, that doesn't always happen. But to prove my point, rather, let's uh, let's use an example. So we have this uh, this thing of numbers here, right? Let's say let's create a variable and let's call it x and let's say it equals zero. What we can do here is we can say while x is less than three print we, we can say the thing the current rather let's not even use this number for the while while loop example but while x is less than three and notice x starts off at zero let's print called and because right now we're not changing x we're just going to continuously be printing out called and we're going to get stuck in this loop right the notion of an endless loop is super bad, as you can imagine. You kind of get stuck in the loop because it's just an infinite loop. So, and notice this started uh, giving me a spinning wheel for the sake of this loop just keeps running, which is slightly ridiculous. It should know better to stop, but let's uh, let's close that Xcode, and we might have to reopen this here. So, bear with me just a moment. So let's come down to Xcode and let's open up our playground again. And let's quickly get rid of this before it starts running it. So what we're going to do in our while loop is we want to be printing something while X is less than three, but we want to make sure that we increment X along the way, right? So what I'm going to do for the sake of doing this is we're going to type out the body of the loop before we put the while otherwise it's going to automatically start running and to add a number to this variable x we can do x plus equals one and in front of here we can say while x is less than three we want to do something and we want to print out this thing called test and if we come down here we can see that we have test printed out three times because the first time x is zero cool it'll run the second time x is one and the third time x is two and then the next time x becomes three and the while loop goes is three less than three it's not so we're just not going to go in here now if we make this if three is less than or equal to rather is if x is less than or equal to three Notice it prints out a fourth test here. And I guess to prove my point that it's uh, also printing out unique kind of loops, instead of printing a test, let's print out x. And we'll see how every time x changes and it prints out only that many instances, it only loops over itself until this condition is met. So while whatever the statement here is true, do this block. And you can imagine a while loop and a for in loop are very handy to iterate over a large collection of data. So let's say you want to um, go over, uh, let's say, like a list of uh, messages and you want for each message, you want to delete the message. Um, instead of kind of going one by one, you might just do a for in loop for message in all messages and perform a delete function on each message. And that's kind of a practical example of how a loop can come in handy. And there's, of course, many other ways. And um, we'll definitely be encountering them along our way in our entire course. So that being said, I want to wrap up the lesson here. Uh, A little bit shorter of a lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get an idea of what loops are, how handy they can be, what their practical application is. Please do leave a like if you learned something, if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment. Um, Let's start a discussion if you need help with any of this. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. And I will see you guys in the next lesson.